Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the D flip flop IC 7474. So let's get started. In the last video, we have discussed the IC 7473. It is JK flip flop IC. This is JK flip flop. Now to convert JK flip flop to D flip flop, we just need to connect a NOT gate. It will be our D, and we have to connect a NOT gate in this, and this is our D flip flop. So this equal to this one, this clock pulse, and it is D pin, and the IC number is seven four seven four. Truth table of D flip flop. D, clock, Q and Q bar. These two are input and these two are output. If D is 0, then Q will be 0 and Q bar will be 1. It doesn't matter whether clock is 1 or 0. If D is 1, clock is 1, then we will get Q and Q bar will be 0. And the last condition, D 1 and clock 0 then you will get Q as 0 and Q bar as 1. Now let's see the pin diagram of the IC. This is the pin diagram of IC 7474. This IC has two flip flop. This one is first flip flop and this one second one. This flip flop has 6 pin. Q and Q bar are the two outputs and these four are inputs. This one is set reset D and clock input. This D is connected to pin number 2. Clock pin is connected to pin number 3. Set is connected to pin number 4 and it is active low and this reset is connected to pin number 1 and this one also active low. So to work with this IC we have to make both this pin set and reset high so that we can use the other pin. For the practical, I'll use first D flip flop. Pin number 7 is ground and pin number 14 is plus VCC and will connect plus 5 volt. Now let's see the practical circuit diagram. We need 7474. Pin number 14 is connected to plus 5 volt. Pin number 7 is connected to the ground. Pin number 2 is D, 3 is clock, 1 is reset and pin number 4 is set. For this pin is active low. So to deactive these two, we have to connect this two pin to the plus 5 volt. I will explain this thing on practical. To provide signals to the IC, we will connect a SPST switch. One pin of the switch is connected to pin number 2 and other pin is connected to plus 5 volt. As it is digital IC. So we have to connect a pull down resistor, the value is 10 kilo ohms. We will connect an LED to see whether the switch is on or off and with this we have to connect a resistor and then it is connected to the ground, the value is 220 ohms. Now to provide clock signal, we will do the same connection but the switch is pushed to on. Across the switch, we have to connect a capacitor to debounce the switch, the value is 0.1 microfarad. Now come to output, pin number 5 is Q and pin number 6 is Q bar. With pin number 5 we will connect a green LED and with resistor the value is 220 ohms and with Q bar we will connect a red LED. So this will be our connection. Now let's see this on breadboard. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. This is the IC 7474. Push button switch. 10 kilo ohms resistor. 220 ohms resistor. 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And the LEDs. Putting the IC. Pin number 14 is connected to positive rail. Pin number 7 is connected to the ground. 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected with pin number 2 and 3. And then it is connected to the ground. This is for D, 
and this is for clock pulse. One pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail, connecting the 0.1 microfarad capacitor, connecting the input LED, this is for clock pulse, and this is for D. Now connecting output LED, this is Q, and this is Q bar. With the negative pin, 220 ohms resistor is connected. Pin number 5 is Q, so it is connected to green LED and pin number 6 is connected to red LED. Pin number 3 is clock pin, so this one should be connected to pin number 3 and switch D is connected to pin number 2. Now to work with this IC, we have to connect pin number 1 and 4 to the positive rail. Now connecting 5 volt power supply. This is our negative and positive. Now see here, both clock and D is 0, so we are getting Q bar. D is 0, here D is 0, then it doesn't matter whether clock is 0 or 1, we will get Q bar. Here we are getting. Now D is 1, D is 1, clock is 0, we are getting Q bar, we are getting Q bar. Now it is Q. We'll get Q bar, Q. So whatever the D we have, we'll get at the output after getting the clock pulse. Now we'll get Q, we'll get Q bar. So this is how, so this is how D flip flop works. Now let's see about this two pin, pin number 1 and pin number 4. Whenever we make pin number 1 to low, we always get Q bar. It doesn't matter what your input is. You have connected pin number 1 to low, it means we'll get Q bar. And if pin number 4 is connected to low, then we'll always get Q. It doesn't matter what is your input, we'll always get Q. So this is the working of pin number 1 and pin number 4. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.